What's up everybody, it's Tony aka Natural Boss. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying something a little different than what I normally do. Um, I'm going to be using a mousse to do a wash and go. And so, um, I've actually done this before and I have an old vid a older video where I used the Cantu mousse. And the results were like okay, but a lot of the Cantu products are not really good products, so I wanted to use a better um, type of mousse in order to do this experiment. So what I'm going to be using is the Design Essentials um, Natural Hair line, the Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. Um, so it says, formulated with sweet almond oil and vitamin, vitamin B to provide curl quenching moisture, curl definition of the ultimate frizz control, while wheat protein penetrates the hair cuticle for stronger, healthier looking hair and leaves a gorgeous natural sheen. My hair always looks all dry and stuff, so I'll be real curious to see if this actually um, makes my hair shiny. So my hair has already been washed and conditioned, and then I also applied um, the Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In by Curls Dynasty. This is one a uh, leave-in conditioner that I really like, but also it's kind of light, and I didn't want anything real heavy for this. Um, so this is what my hair looks like right now with just the leave-in conditioner in it. I'm just gonna section my hair in a smaller section than that, but I'm not gonna go too small. I don't wanna. Um, when I do a wash go, I don't really like to do little tiny pieces because I just don't like to spend that much time on it. Because me, a wash and go should be an easy style. If I'm having to do little tiny pieces and stuff, that's not an easy style and I might as well just twist my hair. So I'm going to start off with that much. I really don't know how much I'm supposed to use. And then for those of you who don't know, have never used mousse before, you might see white foam in your hair. but it will disappear as soon as it dries or even before it dries. Okay, this is what my hair looks like right now. It actually, this mousse feels like I haven't even put anything on my hair but water. It feels really weird, um, just to be honest. So I don't know how good this is gonna do. And I'm thankful that I put that leave-in conditioner in it. Cause I can't, right now, this does not seem like it's gonna make my hair shiny, but who knows. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this piece. I will say mousse is easier to apply than gel. It's actually way easier. So I don't even need to do the praying hands method. I you just kind of just apply it to your hair. And that way you also don't have to, especially if you only have a little bit of curl pattern like me, you know, and there's some weird pieces. You don't have to do that much manipulation on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my hair and then um, show you guys the results.
Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I applied the mousse. And as you guys see, I did kind of a rush job. I really, on wash and goes, I really don't like to spend a whole bunch of time on them. So if the product can't do it with my little technique, then, you know, I won't be using the product anymore. I just don't wanna, I don't like to just spend that much time with this. And so, um, this, like I said, this is what it looks like wet. I'm gonna sit in the dryer for a little bit and then diffuse it the rest of the way to get it all the way dry. And then I will let you guys see the results. Okay, I'm back and my hair is dry, about 80% dry, which is what I usually do for wash and go. You guys, um, look at this definition. Only thing I don't, so my hair, I mean it, I use leave-in conditioner. It doesn't feel like really soft. So I wouldn't say this mousse, I don't even know if it claimed to do that. Um, it says curl quenching moisture. I don't know if I would say all that. Um, it doesn't feel soft, but it doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel hard like wet line gel or anything like that. And the curls are really defined. The only thing I would say that I don't really like about it is that my hair really doesn't have any shine. Now I say this in a lot of videos with a lot of products that I use and really um, probably if somebody else were to use the same mousse, their hair probably would be shiny. My hair is just so extremely dry and it just takes a whole bunch to get it to shine. So I'm not going to really blame this product for that. I'll just say that it's my hair. Um, it definitely defined my curls. And if you guys see my last video or last couple videos or whatever, I straightened my hair. The curls are definitely back. The shrinkage is definitely back, which I love. Um, the coils are definitely back. So I'm really happy about that to really get a chance to see that my hair did um, revert completely back. You can see it definitely reverted completely back. Um, it's springy. You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay soft. It's just now I wouldn't say, ooh, this made my hair so moisturized because it didn't. Um, I honestly don't. I used that Cantu mousse like two or three years ago, and I really don't know how to compare them. I want to say that the Cantu made my hair shinier, though, but like I said, I don't know because maybe my hair wasn't as dry and damaged then, so I really don't. Overall, I feel Design Essential products in general are better than Cantu products. But I don't know what I was if I would say that this was like way better than that one. Um, if you haven't seen that video, check that one out and then let me know um, which one you think I had the better results with. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. I would say for people who are struggling or I say they can't define their curls, I would say to give mousse a shot and in particular this one. Another good one that I've never done a wash and go with is the Lotta Body Mousse, which I do use for other things, but I've never done a wash and go. So you might wanna try that as well. Um, also, another thing, you don't use that much of this. I don't see if you, I don't know if you guys can see, but I only use like to there and I probably overuse the product. Plus I have a lot of hair. So it's really not, I don't remember how much I paid, but it was nothing that big of a deal. Another thing I might try with a different leave-in because that could be what could make the difference in how much, how shiny my hair is and how moisturized it is. I definitely can see definition in the curls and it doesn't just look like, I don't know, just like a big bush or something, whatever. So yeah, I, I, I kind of like this. It's a different kind of wash and go, but I actually kind of like it. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you've tried mousse for your wash and goes, let me know what you thought about them. I mean, in particular, if you tried Design Essentials, but I want to hear about other mousses as well. Um, and not even just for wash and goes, just for other styles. I know I did like a roller set with mousse before, but just tell me, you know, what are you using mousse for? If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one.